And there they are, the cyclists that first traveled from the beautiful mother city to Durban, then went on to gorgeously, as they look, run from Durban to Marisburg. Gentlemen, I see you in pains and aches. How was the race, both races, in fact? It was the most incredible journey with uh, three of my brothers and, and, a, and a family beyond that. And uh, the power of the heart is something truly special. And I'll never forget this moment. And it's probably one of the proudest moments of my life. And it can't be better to spend it with these, these three men. Oh, gentlemen. No, it was... Body's hurting now, but what a, what a day. What a, what a 10, 11 days. It is a... What a journey, yeah. You guys do know this is one of the craziest things ever attempted by a human, you know? It, it's, no, it's not done physically. It's, it's, it's not possible. Did you say he's got a... Yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. It is impossible. That's why it was a miracle. And it's just by grace that we... that, that, that it all came together. So it, it was a miracle. It's unbelievable. All right. People take years to train for the Comrades Marathon. How do you then train for a marathon or a journey, in fact, it's no longer a marathon with you gentlemen, a journey from Cape Town to Durban and Durban to Maritzburg? I don't think it's a physical challenge. I think it's a challenge of the heart. And all these guys have had experiences in life which have challenged their hearts, and given them strong hearts. That's why we could make it. Right. And just lastly, what are some of the things you're taking out of this journey? Anything's possible. Eh? With this, there's a bond here that will, will never be broken. I mean, we went through, we went through hell and back, and we still, we are strong as ever. Okay, hopefully, I'll see you guys again next year. Till then, happy 2011. Back to you, David. <laughs> that is the most incredible thing—a Tour de France and then a Comrades Marathon. Absolutely remarkable.